I need you guys to help me in the kitchen to fill these. We can do it. I don't like this crap. Definitely no cheese in the can. Very happy to be throwing this away. It's bacon. No, I want my bacon. I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me. This is very good. You're gonna be going to the grocery store. She thinks at the blue she's a smart little girl that she can do whatever she wants. No, that's not how she can do it in our family. She's acting like she's the queen and we're the sorry people. Joy, I have been nice to you, but now I'm coming to the edge. I promise you one thing, okay? If you do not have at least one food that you like, I will buy you a piece of junk. Is that a deal? No, I keep losing at deals, and I don't want to make a deal anymore. I am leaving, and you can't stop me. I'm packing my bags. And a very, very calm day into this. A bump in the road comes, and she be sarcastic. Curtis. I won't be coming back until Saturday when you leave. She's going to try to stop me, but she can't run in those little high heels. Never see this face again. Damn, right in my arm. It actually left a mark for about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes later, it was finally okay, faded. backing up, you said you're not the boss of me. I am the boss of you. When a mother says to be quiet, she's the boss of you, and you need to listen to that. Final I line. never said... When a teacher says something, she's the boss of you, and you Shut need to listen... Shut up! Give me a turn to speak! Fine, see? You do that to me. How does it feel? How does it feel to be told to shut up? We've talked about it. Let me speak. How does that do feel? Not. How does that do feel? Do not. Put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? No, I asked you a question. You know what? Shut up! Apparently that's the only word that gets your attention. How does that make you feel? Yeah, we're gonna try. Okay, yeah. I did a flip and uh, must have been a little slippery under. Hit my face a little bit, but we we're okay. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It's rubbing. My teeth hurt a little bit. Like I hit my teeth. Oh, did you? These three birds all said they would not vote for me on caucus night. You see what happened to them. Now that one that flew away. He, he left saying, I'm a Huckabee supporter. We saw a Huckabee button on his rear end, and we so we knew not to take him. Governor, is that, is that positive campaign? It's very positive. It's very positive. You vote for me, you live. You don't, hmm. There you go. This is what happened right here. <laughs> that name like Romney Thompson. <laughs> now, I'll let, I'll let you guys decide that. I would never be so coarse and crude as to do something that would be insensitive. I'm a sensitive guy. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. You can tell that to the bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> 
and you keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. All right, before we continue, the law symbol is found. Keep fucking that chicken. This afternoon, a bizarre case out of Stone Mountain. A 61-year-old man is charged with slapping the child of a complete stranger because the child was crying. Roger Stevens is being held on felony child cruelty charges. Let's go live to 11 Alive's Paul Crowley for the latest on that strange story, Paul. Jill, this is the Walmart Supercenter off of Rockbridge Road in the shadow of Stone Mountain where all of this took place, this bizarre incident on Monday. And uh, the suspect was in court this morning. Now, according to police, Roger P. Stevens, age 61, of Deshong Drive, was in this Walmart when he complained to a woman that her two-year-old daughter's crying was bothering him. He told her she needed to do something about it, according to the police reporter. He would. Well, then she said when they went over one aisle farther, he picked up the two-year-old girl, slapped her in the face four or five times, whereupon she began screaming. He was grabbed by other patrons of the Walmart, other customers who held him until the police arrived. Now 61-year-old Stevens is charged with cruelty to children. We understand the little girl's face was red, but otherwise she was apparently uninjured, and now he faces some serious charges. Well, Russ, Troy Dale West is charged with felony child cruelty and two misdemeanors, battery and disorderly conduct. Now, outraged community activists say those charges aren't nearly enough to crimes to cover the crimes that took place, the assault that took place right here inside this Cracker Barrel behind me in Morrow. This is where Tasha Hill was assaulted. And now Clayton's district attorney says Davis could, Dale, excuse me, Mr. West could face more charges once she's had a chance to look at the surveillance video of that attack. One week after Army Reservist Tasha Hill was viciously assaulted in front of her own daughter, the seven-year-old girl is still struggling with what she witnessed. Her emotion, the expression of her emotions were scared and nervous. And I told her mommy's was uh, anxious and afraid. The attack took place September 9th in the foyer of this Morrow Cracker Barrel. Morrow police say 47-year-old Troy Dale West is seen on surveillance video beating up the 35-year-old woman after she told him he almost hit her daughter with the door as he walked into the restaurant. He's hitting her, he's kicking her. Uh, it appears that he uses his left hand to, to trap her between the two sets of doors so that she is unable to escape. Hill says West repeatedly called her the N-word and the B-word throughout the attack until she passed out. Once I regained my consciousness and looked up, um, once I heard my daughter scream is when I noticed reactions when she screamed. Mommy. It was sexist, it was misogynistic, it was sadistic. And this is a sick man who needs to be off the street. Community activists are calling for upgraded charges against West and question why the Tifton man was set free on bond. Clayton County's district attorney says she was so disturbed by the nature of the attack, she will seek an indictment on additional charges and personally try the case. That makes me feel really good. It makes me feel a little bit safer. I'm, I'm still a little, uh, a little uncomfortable with the fact that he's out. Now, Clayton's district attorney says she plans to present new evidence to a grand jury. She hopes to do that next week, next month rather, and she says at that point a grand jury may decide to upgrade those charges. If she, she says if that happens, those would be charges that would not have a bond. Mr. West would be rearrested. The case would go from there. We should also point out the FBI has initiated an investigation into this case to see if any federal civil rights violations took place here when that attack happened a week ago today. As far as that surveillance video is concerned, we cannot get our hands on it. Cracker Barrel isn't releasing it. And the district attorney's office as well as moral police say they are not authorized to release it. Using all the muscles except the one that matters. I want exactly what you want. I want everything. Would that include a bullet from this gun?